Normally, you would go to the FOI platform in your country, um, which in the UK would be what do they know, this site. Um, but because I'm going to be making a demo request, a fake request, I'm using the demo Alavatelli site. Um, and I'm going to do it right from the start. What you would do is browse the site for um, the type of request that you might want to make to see if anyone's made it before. So I want to have a quick look at any requests that have been made to this council. It says that they have had no requests, so in which case I need to make a request to this authority. So I press this button here and then it brings up this page, which um, is where I can make my request. At the moment, you'll see I've not logged in at all. Um, so you can do this all without logging in. And um, this is where I type a title for my request. Uh, so I'm going to say a request for um, communications relating to peace treaty between uh, my court and council. Okay, making a request. Um, you might not know what to write to start with. Um, the Ferret have done an amazing template FOI request, which is quite easy to find on their site. And if you do their online FOI course as well, you have access to it. Um, so this uh, is the kind of the breakdown of the request. Um, and it's, it's a good template to use if you want to, to kind of have some help writing your FOI request. I have used this template. So I've written my FOI request out um, already in this Word document, uh, Google document, sorry, um, and I'm just going to copy and paste it in. And I've done that so you don't have to watch me type, basically. So here we go. Um, I have asked for specific information here between two um, parties. I've asked for documentary evidence, specific terms and signatories related to that, and I've um, specified what type of um, information I'm expecting to see relating to this. Um, and now all I need to do is sign my request there. And now I can preview it. So this is a preview of the request, it gives me an opportunity to make sure that I've not put any personal information in. I'm not requesting personal information because you can't request personal information. Um, that would be a subject access request and it shouldn't be public. Um, so I'm happy with everything that I've written here. Um, and so instead of editing, I can send and publish. This is the point where it's gonna ask me to sign in. So if I hadn't already got an account, which I do here, obviously, um, I would be able to create a new account here. Simply ask for name, email, and a password. Um, I'm going to sign in to my account. Here we go. It's another preview of it, just to make sure I'm happy with it. So basically, you have three or four chances to edit the request to make sure that it's definitely asking for the things you want. It's including all the information, and it's going to the right place. Um, and then you finally get to send it. And here we go. I've sent the request. And now I just need to wait for a response. Um, right here, it tells me when I should expect the response by. So December 29th, 2020. Um, and it says the status here is currently waiting for a response from the body I've made the request to. Um, this bit here says that the sending status is unknown. Once we know that the request has been delivered to the public body, this will show a green tick. Um, and that at that point, you know that your um, request has been delivered to the public body. Um, and so the, the clock should start ticking essentially on your FOI request and you should 
then have 20 days um, in which the, um, the public body should respond. And there you go. That's that.